Hello, Teacher Dawn here. It's good to see you. Today's lesson is going to be on wind vane. And what that does is it shows you the directions of what the wind, which way the wind is going. This will be for ages 7 and 8. Some of the things that you're going to need is a paper plate so that you can make a circle piece of cardboard. I already have mine cut out. A rectangle. A triangle. A pair of scissors. A straw. A pencil. Glue or tape. I'm going to use some tape. Just regular, yeah, I'm going to use regular tape. But you can use glue too. And then also a tack. It's a pin tack. Let's see. <clears throat> this wind vane is, I have got the idea from uh, Fox 17 by. Candice Monticelli. Monticelli. She's a weather person. And so she's the one I got the idea from. So if you've already seen it on Fox 17, you're going to see it again here. So the first thing we're going to need to do with our marker is put an X. An X, a straight line this way, and a straight line this way. Just like that. You can make it like an X that way. Then what we want to do is we want to put mark north, south, east, and west on it. So you can put N, S, E, and W for east, north, south, east, and west. Once you're done with that, why don't you take your pencil and I want you to put a hole in it, just like that. And we'll set this aside for a minute. Then we're going to take our straw and I'm, we're going to cut, make a little cut into the straw, which I've already done. And we're going to take our triangle, and we're going to slide our triangle in there. And I'm going to put use some tape. You can glue it if you want, but I'm going to use tape for this one so that it stays in place. See. And then on the other end, you want to cut a slit and put your triangle or rectangle in there. Rectangle. And again, I want you to either glue, or in this case, I'm going to use tape. Just like that. So it looks like a little arrow, doesn't it? Yeah, looks like an arrow. From there, what you're going to do is you're going to grab your, ta your little arrow, and your tack, and we're going to push the tack through the center, just like that. You see? And then you're going to take your pencil and push the tack into your uh, eraser part. Be careful because it can be a little slippery. Not real tight so that it's loose. You want to make sure it's loose a little bit. And what's going to happen is you're going to, you can take this, your little wind vine, vein, and you can put it outside somewhere or in a pot and plant, a planter. And what's going to happen is this part right here, the wind's going to catch this part and move the arrow around. 
So whatever way the wind is moving, it's going to blow on your, uh, on this part right here at the end. It's going to catch, the wind's going to catch it, and it's going to move the arrow. And so when you see when it blows, the, the arrow's going to po point in whatever direction. Like if you can see it here, it'll point in the direction. And this one, it says it's going east. You see, you got the arrow. It's pointing east. So east is what's going to, that's the way the wind blows. So now you got your own wind vane. And if you put this outside, you can always watch which way the weather, or which way the wind is blowing by having the wind blow on your weather vane. You got it? That's a good hobby for a day art project. And we're engineering a weather vane. Until next time, have fun with your weather vane. Bye-bye.